the, the idea of a tranquil flood is not borne out by the geologic evidence at all. In fact, in, in Peter, we read uh, that he says that that world that was, was destroyed. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's not just a soaking. No. That is a massive, massive right. destruction. It was a cataclysm. That's the, yeah, it was. the Greek word that's used there. And so the world that then was being overflowed with water was perished, but the heavens and the earth which are now, he makes a distinction that the earth today is totally different to the world that was before the flood, and it suffered from this total upheaval that totally changed the surface of the earth. So let's put out of our mind any idea of a tranquil flood. This was of such proportions that it's hard for us to imagine it unless we're able to visually see the products that it left behind. And that's what we can do in geology. That's what makes it start so exciting to start. What, what makes me passionate about these issues is that we can show people, we can broaden their horizons and we can show the big picture of what was happening during the flood that brings it to life as a, a real catastrophic event, just as the Bible describes. And better matches the evidence. Absolutely.